All right, so I'm just continuing on here with uh, from where I left off on the last one here. I'm just I don't know if this shows up in here, but I'm just laying out the rivet patterns here, and I'll uh, start drilling and mount this puppy. So kind of getting back into the swing of it again. It's uh, kind of <laughs> once I kind of figured out uh, where I was at and what I was doing, it was. It was, uh, you know, just kind of getting back into it again here now, so it's all good. Just labor, right? Go, go, go. So the slide out's out, so it's hard to see, but I got the lower skin on today. I'll rivet it up. Of course, I gotta dress the rivets yet, but they're uh, all in there. And this lower aluminum is all in, in behind the slide out. And while I was riveting, I finished up this door. All the rivets around the door, except for there, I forgot to do that. Oops. And uh, hammer formed all the, the rest of, the, of the, uh, this edge around a little bit of seam sealer on there so I won't clean that off and I'll wait till tomorrow to do that so coming along happy day I'm putting the last few rivets on the last piece of the outside skin well he takes pictures <laughs> Well, I do what I do best. <laughs> Sit back and watch. What's wrong with that? You find something you're good at, you stick with it. So, here's what I've been up to for the last couple of days. Just fitting these uh, trim on the slide out. I got the, uh, the two, two ends done. And the uh, the outs, or the, you know, the part on the slide on the top. I have to do the, the seal surface one on the inside yet, and I have to do the bottom. And the bottom one's going to be tricky, and this has been tricky enough as it is. Um, I'm running out of running out of clearance. I think I'm going to have to take that back off there and uh, trim trim the edge of the slide a little bit and then put this piece back on it's just press fit right now uh, friction fit and uh, that'll give it a little bit more clearance here it's pretty tight you need a little bit more clearance than that I think or it's just gonna wear so that's what I'm up to I'll uh, slide the yeah, so the slide out here uh, now, and I'll uh, let you take a look at what the uh, the seal surface uh, pieces look like. So with the slide out, you can see that molding it had made up. This piece here wraps around, sandwiches the skin and the slide out together. And I was going to have the skin here slide in underneath that. But I don't think I have the clearance for that. This this needs to move in. So I think, I have to, I think I'm going to have to uh, move that all the way in and then put the skin on the, on the outside. Which will be okay too, but that wasn't my original intention. But anyways, uh, hang on a sec. All right, and that's the piece in there. Get a good view of it here that the seal is going to run on. So let me snap a piece of seal in there. And there's the seal on there. So the Outside edge, uh, if you can see it here, I can't see it now, but anyways, that one we were looking at before, 
that will come up against this seal here when the when the uh, slide out is in and then when it's out it'll go up against this bulb here um, it'll be a you know same kind of lip on this uh, uh, sur surface on the uh, on the slide out and then when it comes out it'll it will uh, contact here and uh, when the skins on here this wiper will just wipe the uh, moisture and seal it as it uh, as it's sliding in and out so that's the plan the only hiccup is that the slide out ended up being all the accumulated <laughs> clearances and whatnot um, they had ended up being just a tiny bit wider than I'd anticipated and so there needs a little bit more clearance there so I don't know if you can see up in here or not but there's a bit of a gap I left in this here um, for the, the skin to slide under. I think I'm going to have to knock this down right up against that so there's no clearance there and put the skin on the outside of it, which won't be a big deal, but it wasn't really what I had in mind initially. But anyways, I think it'll still work. Worst comes to worst, I'll have to knock this off of here and uh, trim an eighth of an inch off that uh, steel underneath there and then put that back on but I hope I don't have to do that so but that'll ah, wouldn't take that long but it'd be a, definitely be a pain in the neck anyways that's what I've been up to for the last couple days and this is the one on the other end So, and then I got the, I have the, across the bottom to do, and across the top, so. Hopefully the, the other slide outs, this is the first one, so hopefully the other ones will uh, go quicker once I kind of get the hang of what I'm doing, and, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> Everyone's different, so they may all be a pain in the neck. So it's another wonderful day in southern British Columbia. Went from 77 degrees and sunny on Thursday to just over 50 and pissing down rain today, which is Saturday. Anyways, so I thought I'd show you guys the inside of this where these seals are going to mount. Um, it's all done here now. I don't know if it really shows up all that well. But this is the piece on the slide out here. That's the piece that goes to the to the uh, body. And there's about a one inch gap there that the seal will, will uh, go into. So I got that. <coughs> Ow all the way around except for the bottom so I'm going to do the, the seal surface down on the bottom here yet um, I gotta get my shrinker and stretcher set repaired one of the jaw sets is screwed up so I haven't decided yet whether to fix them or just buy another set or another one but anyways so I'm gonna start on the uh, on the ends the ends on the top so and uh, once I have the, the uh, parts for that, then I'll do the, uh, do the seal surface down here and put the bottom on. And I need that uh, shrinker stretcher to do the uh, moldings for around the, the windows here too, to curve the material. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do the top. So I'm going to do one, this one whole slide out, figure out all, all the details, and then I'll move on to the rest of them because if I get part way and you know and then do and then do this one and the back one and I find out something doesn't work well I've got three that don't work rather than just one so I'll figure out all the details on on this one and I've been doing a lot of farting around and fitting and trimming and whatnot to get it to uh, to get it to fit 
and uh, I got it pretty good here now. But uh, I want to just make sure that all of uh, all the details are worked out on one before I move on to, to any of the other ones. So, anyways, that's where we're at now. I got a piece of aluminum laid out on the table there, and I'm just going to start marking it all out, and I'll cut it to uh, cut it to size, and and that's the end piece at this uh, the end piece for this uh, end here. And I'll do the rest of them. Okay, so I got this aluminum sheet all marked out. Just going to cut it here now. And we'll see if I know how to use a tape measure or not. And angle finder. Anyways. That we will find out in a minute. Okay, so that's the piece. The one end here is just held in with a couple of clamps right at the moment. But, uh, fit pretty good. Got to come off of there. All this stuff's got to come off, well, except the outside one, so I can finish the uh, all the steel there. Got to uh, clean that all up and, and coat it, so. But, uh, yeah, that fit pretty good. Apparently I do know how to use a tape measure. Some days. I don't know how to draw, but I know how to measure. That's what it'll look like on the, uh, this is the outside edge. So I'll rivet it all along there and uh, seal on the back side of it, run a bead down that, that uh, seam there. Yeah, should be alright. I'm not going to cut the window out. I don't have the windows yet, so I'm just going to leave them blank. And uh, once I have the windows here, I'll then I'll um, cut the openings. Uh, I don't know what the radius that uh, the corners are going to be and that kind of thing. So. I'll just do that once I have the have the windows. Anyways, I like it. Okay, so I've been thinking about this over over the night, and I think I'm going to modify my plan here a little bit. I um, uh, my initial plan here was I got I have a, a 90 degree bend on on this uh, bottom edge here which you uh, yeah you can't really see it but anyways it's on there <clears throat> and I was going to uh, have the bottom sheet slide underneath here and and then this go over top and rivet it and then up at the top there I was going to have the, the top piece with a 90 degree bend on it that would come down over the side a little bit and then rivet it along the top there but this material, being 80 thou thick, is I'm thinking is going to, or could possibly, uh, have a tendency to hang up on the seal because it's so thick, the edge there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut them, I'm going to cut this down, cut that off the bottom, and then uh, just have it corner to corner. So basically I'll just have the the uh, aluminum uh, butt together and then I'll, I have some light uh, 16 and I also have some 20 gauge uh, aluminum as well so I just I think I'll cut uh, four inch wide or three inch wide something like that uh, strips and uh, bend them into a 90 and just make like a little 90 degree cap that goes on there and then just rivet it um, and then just use lots of seam sealer along the top, and I think that'll probably work. Well, I don't know whether it'll actually in the end work any better. You know, be actually be a, a problem, but I'd rather not build a problem into it, and and um, I'd rather just uh, err on the side of caution. Let's call it that. Anyways, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this back out and uh, cut it down, and then I'll put it back in again. Okay. I 
Got this uh, all fit together here now. Got the seal in. Hopefully that's showing up. This is all, you know, just mocked up in here. It's not glued in or riveted or anything yet, but. And it's just the one side. I'll continue on. But it looks like it's going to work. I was all stressing out about there not being enough room for this seal, but there is. And um, we've run this run the slide out in and out, and it slides in nice. So looks like it's going to work. So I can go ahead and continue on with the with the rest of them. I ordered all the parts for my shrinker stretcher, so when that gets here, I can do the I can do the one underneath here. And uh, so, yeah, looks like it's going to work. I'll go up inside. No. Like I say, that seal's not, gl not uh, glued in or anything yet. Don't have anything along the top, but uh, it's all working there now anyways, so. Yeah. Love it when a plan comes together, as somebody used to say. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to call that it for this uh, this video. I'll put this up and continue on with the, the next one. This one's probably getting long enough. Well, there we go.